Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. PNL Patreon team. Big up on yourself. We are growing over Patreon. Ensure that you become a part of the PNL Patreon team for exclusive contents. Contents that we cannot share on YouTube. Joining the PNL Patreon team is a way of supporting this movement. And for those who have already joined, thank you. Now, we are still in the parish of St. Elizabeth. We are heading towards Westmoreland. Continue to sit back, continue to relax, and continue to enjoy this journey with me. Now, listen to this. On Thursday, December 29, 2022, about 5 o'clock in the early morning, a team of JDF soldiers, about four of them, they were on duty at the checkpoint at Maho Drive, right in the vicinity of the York Avenue intersection in Kingston 11. We are told that a loud explosion was heard in the area where the soldiers were working. It was then realized that one of the soldiers, his surname is Sweeney, and he is said to be only 21 years old. He was shot and injured. He received a single bullet wound to the shin area of his left foot. A team of police officers who were close by, they responded quickly and they assisted Private Sweeney to the Kingston Public Hospital. He was treated and admitted. <laughs> Hear this now. When the police started asking the soldiers questions as to what took place, you know what the soldiers told the police? They told them, Officers, we can't tell you no anything because our superiors say we should not say anything. <laughs> we are told that one 5.56 pen shell was recovered from the scene. So, based on everything, it's one of two things. Either Private Sweeney shot himself or one of his colleagues shot him. Not true. Yes, man. Apparently... Someone was playing around with their M16 rifle and a shot went off. Let's hope that this young soldier, he will be okay. Sad indeed. We are told that Indicom, they are carrying out investigations. And based on the Indicom Act, if the JDF soldiers tell Indicom investigators what they told the police, <laughs> they are in big, big trouble. Yes, man. Now, this one, it took place this morning. Saturday, December 31, 2022, about 11.30. It took place along the retirement main road in the parish of St. James. It is reported that a policeman, he stationed in the St. James division. He was driving a motor car along the retirement main road when the car it developed mechanical problems. It is said that the policeman, he stopped and he was tending to the car. We are learning that a motorcycle rode up with Two hoodlums aboard. The Pelian, he brandished a gun and him juke down the policeman. It is said that the hoodlums, they proceeded to rob this policeman of his government-issued Glock 17 9mm pistol. It was affixed with a magazine containing 16 rounds of 9mm cartridges. We are told that the policeman, he was also robbed of other valuables. Luckily, they did not rob him of his life. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape on the said motorcycle. <laughs> Boy, may I tell you. Now, Flanker people. Montego Bay people. Do you know that person on your screen? He is popularly known as Chin and he is said to be in his mid-30s. Chin is a taxi driver and Chin, he's living at Morning View Drive in Flanka in Montego Bay. Well, Chin, he was picked up by the police at his home early yesterday morning, Friday, December 30, 2022, about 1 a.m. Chin, he has since been charged by the police. Now, I won't say much about the allegations, but the female involved is only 11 years old. And this has been going on from she was 10 years old. Are you following me? So, Chin... He's now in jail and he'll be going to the courts shortly. <laughs>
This incident, sad indeed. It took place early this morning, Saturday, December 31, 2022, about 12.30. Now, let me tell you exactly where this one took place. It took place right at the entrance and exit to the Cool Oasis gas station along the Iron Shore Main Road in the parish of St. James. Now, if you know that area well, Witter Village and Blue Diamond Plaza, they are across the road. Hear this now. That man on your screen, his name is Jevon Amos. Jevon is 44 years old and he was living in the state of Illinois. Jevon's dream was to spend New Year in Jamaica. So he booked his vacation several months ago. He arrived in Jamaica either late Thursday night or early Friday morning. He made this post on his Facebook page. It's on your screen. It says, On my way to Montego Bay, Jamaica. Some persons on Javon's friends list, they commented and they were mostly saying the same thing. Have a safe flight and stay safe or be careful. Hours after Javon arrived in Jamaica, he checked into the Rio Montego Bay Hotel where he was supposed to spend the next six days. On entering his hotel room, Javon made this post. It's on your screen. First day, Jamaica trying to get me F up. So the big question is, was Jevon f up? Because early this morning, shortly after 12 midnight, a 56-year-old man of a Trelawney address, he was driving his black 2013 Toyota Majesta motor car along the Iron Shore main road. He was traveling on the left side of the dual carriageway. He was heading from Montego Bay towards Falmouth direction. On reaching in the vicinity of the Cool Oasis gas station, a man, he was dressed in a navy blue sweater and blue jeans pants. That's dark clothing, right? Now, this man, he was over on the Witter Village Plaza side of the road. We are told that this man, he ran across the road into the path of the Toyota Majesta. The driver, when he saw what was happening, he swerved, trying to avoid hitting the man, but it was too late. The man, he was hit by the front left section of the car. As a result of this impact, he was thrown into the front windscreen and onto the roof of the car. He then fell on the asphalted main road, and that was it for him. He received serious head injuries, and from all indication, he died on the spot. So, have you figured out who it was as yet? Yes, man, it was Mr. Jevon Amos, the man who journeyed from Illinois to Jamaica to spend the new year. The sad thing is, he will be spending the new year here, but not the way he had planned it. Sad indeed. Condolences to Jevon's family and friends. May his soul find rest. So, let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to do it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, it's not too late. We can still reach the 150k <laughs> before 2023. So, if you have not yet done it, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Now, in the final story for today, we first brought you a story on Thursday, March 31, 2022. We told you about an incident that took place in the early morning, about some minutes after 12 midnight. It took place at a place named Karawina, in the Petersfield area, in the parish of Westmoreland. We told you that two men, one of them, his name is Romain Alda. He was 45 years old and he lived at the same Carowina district. The other man, he is popularly known as Perkins. It is said that Perkins, he is in his mid-50s and he also lived in the same area. So, these two men, they were riding their bicycles along the main road. They were leaving a nightclub and they were heading home. We are told that on reaching a certain section along the roadway, 
a motorcycle with two hoodlums aboard. Apparently, the hoodlums and the motorcycle, they were awaiting Romaine and Perkins because they knew the route both of them would be taken to go home. The hoodlums, they owned a barrage of gunshots on Perkins and Romaine. Both of them, they managed to jump off their bicycles and they ran into a nearby premises. But both of them were shot. The hoodlums, they then rode away making good their escape. Perkins, he received gunshot wounds to his abdomen and his left hand. While Romaine, he received gunshot wounds to his right hand and the left and right side of his abdomen. Both of them, they were taken to the Savannah Lamar Hospital where Romaine, he died whilst he was being treated. Perkins, he was admitted in a serious condition, but he was treated and eventually released from hospital. It was said at the time that the two hoodlums who carried out this atrocity, they were known. It was said that one of them was known as Chucky. So, like I said, Perkins, he was released from hospital. So, he was now back on the street. But these hoodlums, they wanted Perkins and for whatever reason, they wanted him badly. Because on Sunday, May 22, 2022, about some minutes close to 12 midday, middle day, Perkins, he was at a place named Hatfield in the parish of Westmoreland. We are told that he had gone there to look for some relatives. Whilst Perkins was sitting in the yard, a motorcycle with two hoodlums aboard rode up. The allegations are that Chucky, the same man whose name was called in the first incident, he was the pillion on the bike. It is said that Chucky, he brandished a gun and opened gunfire at Perkins. Perkins, he managed to run off and luckily, he was not hit on this occasion. The hoodlums, they then rode away making good their escape. The police were called and when they processed this crime scene, a number of 9mm spent shells were recovered. So, Chucky, he was wanted, but it is said that he was hiding in plain sight because it is said that he was riding up and down every day. Well, last week, Monday, December 19, 2022, the Westmoreland police, they received information that Chucky, he was a patient in the Savannah Lamar Hospital. He was involved in a serious motor vehicle accident. As a result, the police went to the hospital and there was Chucky. His correct name is Fabian Alaric. He is 22 years old. Chucky, he was arrested and charged by the police and he'll be going to the courts shortly to face a judge. The mayhem continues. Blessed love everybody. Tell a friend for tell a friend for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe and share. Brick Silver Sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. Hey, crime it a mash up Jamaica. Criminals them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica. Come in. 
non-stop. 